Earlier this year, P10 and MotorAge, with the support of marquee sponsors Milwaukee Tools, CarQuest Technical Institute, and WorldPack Training Institute, along with supporting partners Autel and the TechForce Foundation, sought to start a program that would honor young technicians, those 35 and younger, who excelled in their current roles, were passionate about their work, and were helping to move our industry forward. In the end, one particular technician would rise to the top and be awarded our 2021 Best Young Tech Award, and be formally presented with the award on November 2nd, a Tuesday, at the Apex Show in Las Vegas. The prize package that he or she will be awarded includes round-trip airfare and two nights lodging in Las Vegas to attend the Apex and SEMA show. In addition, the winner will receive $5,000 in tools from Milwaukee Tools. Entry into the March 22 STX Supplier and Training Expo hosted by WorldPack Training and an MS906TS Autel scan tool valued at over $3,000. I recently had a chance to talk to this year's winner, so allow me to introduce you to the 2021 Best Young Tech Award recipient. Hey everybody, Pete Meyer, Motors Magazine. I'm here at the Polk County, Florida Fleet Maintenance Department with our first Best Young Tech Award winner, the 2021 winner, Chris Taylor. Chris, how nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. I want to say congratulations Thank on you. being our first award winner. Yes, sir. How do you feel about, about uh, how about that? Uh, it's, it's exciting. Um, never had anything really this big happen to me before. Um, and I'm really grateful. Uh, when I found out, I was just, it was just like surreal, you know? Sure. Um, it's like, it gave me a second wind of like doing this, you know, because you know, there's times where I was thinking about getting out of it, and it just, it made it just, you know, feel like you're getting rewarded. So. Yeah, and that's a good point. I'm glad yeah. you brought that up. So yes, let me sir. let me start from that in the beginning. How long have you even turned a wrench? Um, I would say since I was 14, but uh -huh. really um, getting into it when I was like 19 years old. You know, I went to UTI in Orlando, uh -huh. uh, took the Ford Fact program. And then from there, went to a dealership, and then just since there, it has been going on. It's been about 10 years now. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what got you, I mean, you said starting when you were 14, what got you even interested in doing this kind um, of thing? My uncle bought me a V6 Mustang yeah. in 98. And, um, you know, ever since I was little, I loved cars. I used to sit, and, uh, like, I, used, I grew up in Jamaica, so when I was down there, I remember sitting down with a book on the bench, and I would get a like a like a bottleneck like it's a gear shift yeah. just, so it's it's kind of like something i always loved yeah um and then it just started out just like doing a little audio in the car and then um i had a buddy that he you know he worked at a ford dealership his name was jose and uh he was always working on cars and then i just started out by just trying to do a little tune-up and I remember I put the coil wires on backwards and it was backfiring and <laughs> no power and it right. just kind of progressed from there and just, you know. Yeah. So what kind of things do you do now to kind of keep up with all these massive changes that we're doing through? Uh, I do a lot of reading. I love to read. Um, I'm always on like different uh, forums or looking at different car videos, uh, always reading a book. Um, the Ford website, because we work on a lot of Fords, that's really what I specialize in. Um, I always go on there and look at the new things that's coming out, and just try to stay up to date. You know, I'm not perfect, but I try to learn every day. Yeah. You know, I try to learn something. Yeah, and from what your boss is telling me, you're not one to shy away from helping your other guys out here if oh, they yeah. want to do a problem. Definitely. Right, I guess you're kind of the master of the IDS? Yeah, sort of. Yeah. I went, you know, uh, we're all pretty good, um, and we try to you know, help each other learn sure. every day. Um, and it just kind of came from working at Ford where, cause that's what we do there. So it kind of helped to progress here and the training at, you know, the FAC program it just kind of carried over. And, yeah. you know, I like to help a lot. You know, that's part of 
I believe in that a lot, yeah. you know. So. Yeah, and I mean, just looking around, you, I mean, you're working for the fleet maintenance department, right. so you got everything from the light duty vehicles to the big boys, I mean, like this bad boy behind you, right? Yes, sir. You know, yes, so sir. that's a lot to keep keep yes, up sir. and keep experience on, a lot of diesel stuff as well right. as the gas. Yes, sir. Uh, any hybrids in the fleet yet, or? Not that I know of. Not, not well, there's one. There's one. There's one that I know of, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. we were talking to your boss earlier, and he was saying that they're kind of looking at right. that down the road. Yes, and, sir. Uh, how you feel about going into an all-electric future? To be honest, I'm excited, you know, because it's something new. Something, yeah. and I like to learn something, things that are new, you know? Yeah. You know, always want to learn, you know, if you're not learning, then there's no use, you know, so. Absolutely, not going you... forward, you're going backward, right? Right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Now, you said something interesting early on in the conversation right. that, that winning this uh, uh, contest, this award, kind of revitalized your interest in the business. So what was what was kind of bringing you down? What was making you think uh, about getting out? Just, um, you know, just sometimes you just get, you know, you because I believe in doing a good job and I've been that way since day one. And uh, when I was at UTI, one of our instructors in my Ford program said to just treat it like it's your own, you know, treat it like it's, it's your family yeah. going down the road. and. Sometimes you, 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 you get to that point where you feel like no one sees or, you know, no one's, you know. Being but, appreciative of what right. you're doing, right? Is that why you left the dealer and ended up here? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. yeah, okay. So that makes a lot of sense to yeah. me. I've been there, done that, got the T-shirt, right? right? I understand right. that. Yes, sir. So one last question I'm going to ask you now. If you had a, any advice for any of the techs out there who are watching this or are going to be watching the whole program or, or, or interested in entering this contest in the future, what advice would you give them about either getting into the business if they had an interest right. or moving forward in the business if they're already here? Um, don't give up, you know. Um, it's not going to be easy, you know. When you say you go to school and you come in, it's not going to be easy. So you might have to start from the bottom. But uh, just believe in yourself, you know. If you don't know what you're doing, don't be afraid to go to the book, you know, and, and get the information. Don't be afraid to go to the workshop manual. Uh, and just, just stay with it. You're gonna have, just think of it as quantity over quality. I mean, quality over quantity. Yeah, yeah, you know? absolutely. That's, that's how, I, how I do it, you know. I just think of just doing it right and doing a good job and take pride in what you're doing and it, it'll pay off. Yeah, you know? well, Chris, I gotta tell you, I mean, having a chance to talk to you like this, I kind of understand why Yes, sir. You're our first award recipient. I wanna say congratulations again. Yes, sir. You know, I'll be in Vegas for Apex to see you crown so to speak in person right. don't get in too much trouble there while you're there oh, all right yes sir again thank congratulations. you thank you so much